Hi, I'm Sophie Giuliano from Gorgeously Green, and I'm showing you today how to do it yourself and do it gorgeously with recipes from my new book, Do It Gorgeously. So today, I'm going to show you how to make a spicy barbecue sauce that is as good, if not better, than anything you could find in a gourmet food store, and it will be much, much less expensive, and it's very, very easy to make too. So here we go. These are the ingredients you need, and this is how to do it. First off, start with one cup of tomato sauce from a can, no problem. Second ingredient is a six ounce can of tomato paste. Next ingredient, soft brown sugar, two thirds of a cup. In it goes. Two garlic cloves, minced. Make it really delicious and garlicky. One tablespoon of Worcester sauce. Got a Worcester, always good for flavoring. And one teaspoon, a tablespoon, excuse me, of molasses. Molasses, any barbecue sauce worth its salt definitely needs molasses in it. Fantastic. Now, we're gonna have one teaspoon of mustard. Voila. One teaspoon of chili powder. And here's where you can control how spicy you want it or not. I like mine pretty spicy. I love barbecue sauce with anything on the grill in the summer and veggie burgers in particular. Um, smoked paprika, two teaspoons. Smoked paprika or paprika as opposed to regular is really delicious, particularly for this recipe, two teaspoons. Little pepper little salt, and finally, three tablespoons of cider vinegar. I always eyeball it when I put in most ingredients, but if you want to be exact, then it's three tablespoons. So all of this goes in a little saucepan, stir it up, make sure all the ingredients are really well combined, and then you're going to let it really gently simmer, not boil, but really gently simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, so this has been going for 15 minutes. It's been bubbling, the sugar's been caramelizing, absolutely delicious. I'm gonna pour it into a measuring jug, which makes it easier pouring into a little jelly jar here. You can put it in any old jar, but actually if you find a pretty jelly jar, it makes a wonderful gift, a hostess gift, if you're going for dinner or a cookout at somebody's house. Voila, it will keep for up to three weeks in your refrigerator. So, spicy barbecue sauce, doing it yourself. So for this recipe and many more recipes, grab a copy of my new book, Do It Gorgeously, or visit gorgeouslygreen.com.